Hello everyone, this is Dr. Amula, Senior Diabetologist from Voluntary Health Services Chennai. Today we are going to uh, discuss a few things about uh, the difference between type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. So, uh, when a patient is diagnosed with diabetes, he has a doubt whether he has type 1 diabetes or type 2 diabetes. So, what is type 1 diabetes? So, it is a, a genetic disorder where a, pers a person becomes diabetic in childhood itself or when he or she is a young adult. It is a genetic disorder or it can be caused even by autoimmunity. So by autoimmunity we mean our body produces antibody against its own tissues. So in that person antibodies are produced against the pancreatic beta cells. So uh, these beta cells are the cells which produce insulin in a normal human being. So when these beta cells get affected by autoimmunity, they are unable to produce insulin. So this person becomes insulin deficient. So that is when he gets type 1 diabetes. So since he is uh, deficient totally in insulin, insulin has to be given externally, usually in an injectable form. So if a type 1 diabetic doesn't take insulin, it is uh, very difficult for him, to him or her to survive because insulin is essential for the metabolism of whatever food we eat. So uh, insulin has to be given every day for a type 1 diabetic patient. So usually it is like 3 or 4 times in a day or a mixed preparation which can be given 2 times in a day. But every day the patient has to take insulin. So this is uh, the most salient uh, uh, characteristic of a type 1 diabetic patient. Type 2 diabetes is uh, different because Insulin will be secreted in the body, but the uh, tissues in the body won't respond to the insulin. This we call as insulin resistance. Usually, uh, type 2 diabetes occurs in uh, uh, adults in their uh, second or third decade. Previously, people were getting a little later uh, in their life, like fourth or fifth decade. Nowadays, they are getting it even in their second or third decade. Mostly because of lifestyle factors like eating a lot of junk food, less physical activity and all that. And especially if a person has a family history, uh, for example, both uh, his parents, his or her parents, both, uh, or either his uh, mother or father, or a paternal uncle, paternal grandmother, grandfather, if there is some family history of diabetes, it is very likely that the person will get type 2 diabetes. So, uh, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes are different in the way they are getting managed. So, as I mentioned earlier, Type 1 diabetes can be managed only with insulin, whereas type 2 diabetes in the initial stages it can be managed with lifestyle modification like diet and physical activity and uh, later on it can be managed with med oral medication like oral hypoglycemic agents and a type 2 diabetic um, after 10 or 15 years may require insulin, it is not mandatory. So a type 1, for a type 1 diabetic insulin is essential. Whereas for a type 2 diabetic, he might require insulin later in his disease process. So these are all the same uh, differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. In type 1 diabetes, a person has to be very careful because his uh, sugars can be highly fluctuating. Even if uh, the person skips a single dose of insulin, the sugars can become very high and uh, the person can become really sick, even uh, has to be hospitalized. He will develop uh, breathlessness, uh, fatigue and all, abdominal pain and all that. Uh, the person can become very sick. So it is very important that a type 1 diabetic should take his insulin regularly, whatever his schedule is. A type 2 diabetic has very lesser chances of getting really sick like this uh, because uh, he will be requiring only oral medication and that can be titrated uh, as per the comfort of the patient. So this is all I, I have to tell about the differences between type 1 and type 2 diabetes. Thank you very much for listening. You can catch me up uh, for my next session on uh, insulin techniques, what to do and what not to do for a diabetic patient. Thank you.